Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, students, good evening. Hello, Edis. Hello, Maximo. Hello, Heidi. Welcome to another day, another session. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Fine. Excellent. I am very happy to listen to that. Well, today we are going to work a little bit on uh, the topic that we started yesterday about food, food, vegetables, fruits, drinks, etc. right? The one that we started yesterday and we're going to continue working on that. I am very, very glad to have the opportunity, to have the chance to actually uh, come and share with you another night. Today is our class number 10. We are like far from the middle of this process. It has been very exciting. I, I, I have really enjoyed every single day. Tell me, did you do the homework? Yes. Yes. Did you investigate about the homework? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. I am very glad that you that you did it and that you had the opportunity to actually check, check and um, actually investigate about the topics. Because it is important that you also have this culture of analyzing and going a little bit farther. Eso les va a servir mucho en todos los niveles. Si de repente eh, la teacher les menciona, vamos a ver tal tema mañana. Siempre, 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 siempre vayan e investiguen, busquen videos en YouTube, vean eh, acerca del tema, de qué se trata y todo. ¿Para qué? Para que cuando vengamos a la clase ya traigamos ideas de lo que vamos a ver y ustedes ya puedan participar libremente. Ese es un tip que les va a ayudar un montón en el desarrollo del idioma. Ser curiosos más allá. De, de, de lo que vemos, de la plataforma y todo. Si ven alguna plataforma que les llama la atención, vayan, investiguen un poquito más. Ahora Internet está llenísimo de información. Es un contenido rico de veras en, en información. Solo que, obviamente, si estamos buscando cosas de inglés, vámonos más que todas las páginas en inglés. ¿verdad? Así para que podamos investigar más. Y hay videos también, hay un montón de videos en la red. De, de los temas, así que ese es mi tip del día, tip de la noche. Okay, so tell me what did you investigate about countables and uncountables? What did you find? ¿Qué encontraron? Eh, bueno, lo que yo encontré. Estaba en español la página, pero las expresiones estaban en inglés. Mis. That's, that's okay. Uh -huh. Tell me. <laughs> este, dice que eh, son las palabras son any much y money. Many. Many. Uh -huh. creo que se many. Uh -huh. Good. Este, dice que la, eh, por, en singular podemos pronunciar a E y M. Uh -huh. M. M. Y M. en el plural, uh -huh. en el plural se pronuncia son, son, pero some. es en positivo. Uh -huh. Yes. Y que en el negativo, este, siempre usamos E y M en singular, pero en plural ocupamos E, any. Uh -huh. Este, en las preguntas, este, quiero ver, dice, cuando nos vamos a referir o pensamos que nos van a contestar eh, de una manera, eh, siempre ponemos A, E, M, uh -huh. N, o how many. 
How many? Good, very good. How many? Este, y quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Ah, no, perdón. Ese es cuando nos referimos a una, a una sola cosa. A only one, ajá, only es, one thing. En, ajá, cuando nos referimos a, digamos, eh, ejemplo, como el azúcar, no vamos a decir una azúcar, sino que el azúcar, el arroz, o, o cuando nos referimos a algo que no vamos a dar una cantidad específica, este, decimos any o how much. How much, very good. No podemos decir a sugar, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot say a rice, a beans, right? Because they are uncountable. Good, very good information. Thank you very much. What else did you find? ¿Qué más encontraron? Bueno, yo también encontré que cuando pedimos o ofrecemos algo, ocupamos la palabra some. Some, ajá. Por ejemplo, ¿encontraste algún ejemplo? Eh, sí, pero no lo copié. Por <risa> ejemplo, so like, eh, when you are offering coffee, por ejemplo, ¿do you want some coffee? ¿Do you want okay. some sugar? ¿Do you need some sugar? ¿O do you want any sugar in your coffee? So that's the way we use it. Some. Do you want some? Good. Thank you very much. What else did you find? ¿Qué más encontramos? Yo se lo eso, Tichi. Very good. Todo, todo, todo la información es bienvenida. Excellent. What else did you find? ¿Qué más encontraron los demás? Cuéntenme. O solo dos tareas tenemos. What else did you find? Iris, ¿qué encontró de la información? Ejemplos que han encontrado. Ay, no, teacher, no hice la tarea. Ah, that's honesty. That's very good. Elizabeth, ¿cómo estamos? ¿Cómo se siente? Mucho mejor. Mucho yeah. mejor. Ya puedo hablar. I am ya very puedo. glad. Sí, ayer comía demasiado irritada la garganta. Mi cuestión es alérgica. Cuando oh. está muy helado, así como estuvo entre sábado, domingo y lunes, mi garganta sufre muchísimo. Sí. Y entonces había tosido tanto que me quedé sin voz durante la tarde. Mm. Y hoy, gracias a Dios, ya amanecí bastante mejor. Que me alegro. Esto, y cuando hace demasiado, demasiado, demasiado calor, también tiendo a quedarme un poco mal de la garganta. Oh, my God. Bueno, no nos confiemos mucho. Hay que ponernos ahí un suétercito para que no nos tengan. Sí, porque a otro más. clima está como entre caliente y helado. Tengo hasta la ventana abierta. <risa> <risa> ok. Nos alegra mucho, nos alegra mucho. That's fantastic. Gracias. Fantastic to have you back. Mr. Mr. Maximo, what did you find about the topic? I found a grammar explanation. Uh -huh. Noun can be countable or uncountable. Yes. Countable nouns can be counted. Uh -huh. An apple, two apples, three apples. Uncountable nouns cannot be counted. Air, rice, water. Very good. When Con you learn, uh -huh. when Continue. you learn, when you learn a new noun, you should check if it's countable or uncountable and note how it's used in a sentence. Very good. Right. You have to identify if it is countable or uncountable. Because in that case, you are going to know if you can make it plural, if you can count it, if you can uh, add an S at the end, so that it's going to help you a lot. Very good information, the one that you found, Mr. Maximo. Thank you very, very, very much. Excellent. Now, let me see. Cynthia, what did you find about the homework? Miss Cynthia? Yes, sorry, Miss. I, I couldn't. You couldn't do the homework. Oh. I couldn't. I, I was really busy at my 
Joe. I imagine, I imagine. Miss Gabriela? Sorry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Miss Gabriela, any example that you found? Solo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Yes. ¿A dónde mando la información? Uh, on, the, on the WhatsApp group. Aren't you in the WhatsApp group? Creo que no estoy ahí porque no ah. recibí. <laughs> ok. En la información que les enviaron donde estaba el grupo, donde estaba el grupo, donde estaba el link, donde estaban todos los, los, los enlaces, hay un enlace para unirse al grupo de WhatsApp. Quizá voy a revisar entonces porque no, no, no lo tengo. <laughs> Sí. No, no estoy ahí yo de qué información, entonces estaba y, perdida. Y yo mandándoles ahí hasta, el, hasta, hasta el, los secretos del amor y la vida eterna. Ah, ok, sí, Gaby. No sé. okay, okay, Gaby. Busque el link, Ahorita si no, eh, al final de la clase me envía en un mensajito su número y yo la agrego. Ok, okay. gracias. Good, good, very good. So, I am going to share. Hello, Mr. Marvin. Marvin Alejandro. I'm going to share my screen. And here we have the difference between countables and uncountables, right? As you were saying, countable nouns can be counted, okay? Son cosas que podemos contar. If you can say one table, two tables, three tables, four tables, five tables, that's countable. One cat, two cats, three cats. If you can count and if you can make it plural, that's countable. But if you cannot make it plural, that's uncountable. And it's something that you cannot actually count. You cannot actually touch. For example, the milk. You cannot tell me, I need some milk for my cereal. How much? Cuanta? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven milks. No, you cannot do that. You can say a cup, a little, a box, a gallon of milk, right? Pero no podemos agarrar la leche y contarla. If you say, I want beans. I want beans. Quiero frijoles. And I say, how many? You don't tell me. Only three, teacher. Three beans for you. No, you put a spoon, right? You put a spoon of beans, right? Le ponen una cucharada completa. But you cannot count it. With the rice, for example, you cannot say, no, 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 only 250 rice. Solo 250 arroces, ponenme. Ah, no, no, okay, 258. You cannot count the rice. You just grab it in one pound, one bag, one spoon, right? One cup of rice, but you cannot actually count it. The oil, the juice, the coffee, the cream, right? The cake, the tea, pasta, soda, those things cannot be counted. So that's why they are uncountable. And countable, for example, apple, apples, carrot, coconuts, mango, strawberries, banana, watermelon, pear, lollipop, candies. It's countable because you can actually count and you can make it plural, okay? That is the main difference between the two things. Because on the uncountable nouns, as you cannot count it, you, you buy them in different forms. For example, I am going to write it here. Here, you buy, for example, I am going to make a different color because this one cannot be seen. You buy it in a bag of, a pound of, you say um, a cup of, you can say a little. And I am going to write it here, okay? As you cannot count it, you buy it in different containers. You say a bag of sugar, a pound of rice, a pound is una libra, right? A cup of, una taza de, a little, a liter of, and you say oil, uh, juice, milk. You can say also a bottle, a bottle, a gallon, right? And you buy it in different containers. Como no los podemos contar, los compramos en contenedores, right? You can also say a can, right? Una lata. 
or a box. A can or a box. Una lata. Una lata de soda, for example. A can of soda. A box of uh, pasta, it can be. Right? But you buy it in different containers because you cannot actually count it. And you can say, for example, how much do you want? I want a spoon, a spoonful. A spoonful is una cucharada llena, right? A spoonful of sugar, for example. A spoonful of cream. What, how much do you want for something? Okay. Do you understand the difference between the two of them? ¿Captamos la diferencia entre ambos? Yes. Yeah, very yes. good. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. So that's the idea, right? That's the idea of the countable and the uncountable nouns. And yesterday I sent you the list of uh, the different vocabulary, right? For uh, the things that we, that we were talking about in the class yesterday. So this is the main difference between countable and uncountable nouns. Now, what we are going to do is to create a small recipe. We are going to create a small recipe. I am going to make two groups of students. I have uh, eight people. We are going to have two groups of four. I need you to create a short recipe, an easy one, okay? No me van a poner pollo navideño aquí porque van a hacer una receta, una receta como de tres horas. No, a short recipe, a sandwich, a salad, eh, something quick, pancakes. I don't know how to prepare something, a hamburger, um, I don't know, pasta or a soup. Uh, you decide. And what you are going to do is to get all the different ingredients that you need for the recipe. Okay, and when we come back, you are going to present the recipe for the group. Okay, so you are going to tell me. I am going to give you my example. Uh, today we are going to prepare cereal. <laughs> to prepare cereal, you need cereal, milk, sugar, and that's it. <laughs> the first ingredient is cereal. The second ingredient is milk. And the third ingredient is a little bit of sugar. Mix it and ready, enjoy. <laughs> Cereal, how to make cornflakes. <laughs> or as you say in Spanish, cornflakes. In good Salvadorian, cornflakes. <laughs> so, but you're going to make a, a better recipe than the one that I did. Ustedes van a hacer una más bonita que la mía. So I am going to make the two groups. I am going to make the two groups and you are going to create a simple recipe, but I need all the ingredients and a little bit of the procedure on how to make the recipe, okay? We are going to go to the groups. Vamos a ir a los grupos. And you create the recipe. Remember to write the information porque cuando volvamos, vamos a compartirla, okay? So let's go to the groups to create recipes. Right now, let's go to the groups. There you go. You got the invitation right now. Ahí lo voy a llegar a visitar. Let's go to the groups. Very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good. Rosario has just joined. Hello, Rosario, how are you? Ahorita nos acabamos de ir a los grupos de trabajo porque vamos a crear una receta. Así que la vamos a incluir a uno de los grupos para que pueda colaborarles a armar la receta. Y la vamos a compartir cuando volvamos, ¿ok? Let's go to the groups. Ahí le envié la invitación. Let's go. Okay, so right now students are going to create a recipe. I hope they are creative and I hope they can actually use all the vocabulary that we learned yesterday to create the recipe that they are going to share with everybody. Right now we are going to join the different rooms to see how they are doing. 
I am not going to participate on the groups because I want them to produce. Let's go. Tomato. Mm -hmm. Cucumber. Que es pepino. Le, le, lechuz. Correcto. Correcto, lechuga. Carrot. Porque la tienda. Zanahoria. Uh -huh. Yeah, zanahoria. Pero las cantidades. Ah, oh, okay. And needed uh, two tomato. Yeah, sí, sí. What are we cooking? One, one let, let, lettuce. Fresh salad. Una lechuga. Ah, fresh salad. That's fresh fair. salad. Fresh salad. Cool. Uh, one carrot. Pero cómo se pon, cómo sería se diría curtido en inglés? <laughs> curtido is curtido. In that case, in that case you say uh, uh, it can be um, it can be like kind of a salad. Let, let me just find it here. Just give me one y la, la, la salsita, o sea, la, la salsa de tomate que le echamos normalmente. Tomato, tomato sauce. Tomé. Tomato. Tomato. Yeah, tomato, tomato. <laughs> tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. And uh, y la masa. The, uh, you are going to make pupusas. Ajá, la masa, por ejemplo, si, si la masa es de maíz, porque como generalmente hay de, de maíz no. y de arroz, yo it's, si voy a comer pupus. Yeah, in this case, is corn dough. Corn dough. That is curtido. No, that is masa. Uh, masa. <laughs> masa. Corn dough. Corn dough. Dough, dough is masa. Dough. Like, like play dough. Play-Doh es como la, como la que juegan los niños. Play-Doh. La masa de, 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 de como plastilina. This one is corn dough. That it's the maíz, right? Corn dough. Y el chicharrón. Chicharrón sería pork. Pork. Okay, pork. Pork. Yes. Esa es toda nuestra gran receta. That's it, right? That's it, definitely. Uh, the ingredient cheese, beans, pork, loroco. Loroco is loroco, right? It doesn't change. Loroco. Loroco is loroco here in, in China. Es que hay infinidad porque hay de pollo. Hay yeah, de but, uh, camarón, we can make camarón. mix mix pupusas. Mi mamá yes. hizo este camarón, de camarón, de Who's camarón. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to make uh, mixed pupusas. La pupusa loca. <laughs> Or a crazy uh -huh, pupusa. Crazy pupusa. <laughs> Jalapeño. Jalapeño, right? Riquísima. Okay. La única palabra que no entendí cómo escribir fue la masa. No, it's on the chat. I sent it to you on the chat. Mm -hmm. Or do. Do. D o u d o u g h. Corn. G h. Do. Do. Corn. Do. Cheese. Beans. Pork. Loroco. Corn. Do. Que era ca, ca, cabbage. ¿qué? Cabbage uh -huh. is repollo. Ah. 
No, pero es que es curtido, curtido. <laughs> in the case of curtido, it's curtido, right? We don't have a word for that in English. But you say like, what is curtido? Curtido is a type of chili that you make with cabbage. Porque el curtido lleva zanahoria, lleva yeah. cebolla. So you say like, and, and if a person says, for example, if an American person says, what is curtido? So like curtido, it's something that you use to accompany the pupusas. The pupusas, well, you accompany the pupusas with curtido, and the curtido is made with cabbage, with uh, with onion, with carrot, with vinegar, right? And, and also, uh, you mix everything and you accompany the pupusas with that. Mm -hmm. So, curtido is curtido, okay? I am going to go and check the other group to see how they are doing, okay? <laughs> I will come back. Antes lo vamos a poner de terminar. Okay. Did you finish? Sí, ah, no, ahí viene la misa. Ya terminó el tiempo. Dije, ahí viene la misa. Ahora está avisarle. No, no va a quedar. Did you finish? Yo digo que sí. Ok. Ya la, ya la estamos comiendo. Ah, bueno, sí, ya la estamos saboreando. Ya, yeah, we, we finished, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Well, I included Arvin in the group. ¿Lo hicieron ahí parte de la receta? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? No. Arvin, Arvin no. estaba aquí no. con ustedes en su grupo. Ey, no lo incluyeron para que pusiera ahí sus ingredientes. ¿No habló? <laughs> estaba intentando ponerme al tanto. <laughs> ¿Y por qué no? Ah, pues ya le vamos a dar copia. <risa> Armin, <risa> Armin, we are creating, we are creating a recipe. We are creating a recipe and the group decided to make a fresh salad. Uh -huh. They are okay. going to explain the ingredients and if you want to include another ingredient, do it right now. Okay, I am going to go and see the other group and I will come back. Okay. okay. Did you finish with the ingredients? Yes. Okay, so yes. we're we're going to go back to the main room, okay? We're going to stop everything. Okay. Okay, we are back. We are back in our Cooking with English Corporativo. Today in Cooking with English Corporativo, we are going to have two recipes. Two recipes that are going to be very delicious, right? The first group is going to teach us how to prepare a fresh salad. So group number one, this is your moment. Somos nosotros. Yes, group number one. The hey, fresh hey. salad. Go ahead. A delicious fresh salad. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, tomato. Uh -huh. Two tomatoes. One. Uh -huh. Cucumber. ¿Cómo se dice? Ay. One cucumber. One cucumber. Very good. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. En la zona sí me gusta decirlo, teacher. Lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce holds a ten box of salt, two lemon, um, lemon. Half. ¿Qué más? ¿Quién me ayuda? Uh, pepper. The pepper. Una cucharadita de. A teaspoon. A teaspoon, de um, One carrot. Carrot. One carrot, perdón. good. Carrot, ajá, sí es. Ay, la mayonesa, sí, no sé. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Eso se lo da My, el, el máximo. Mayonesa. Y este, cucharadita, ¿cómo dijo que se llama? ¿Se decía, Miss? A spoonful. Spoonful. Well, a, you have the two things. A teaspoon, it's cucharadita. A spoonful, ah, es pequeña. Ajá, es pequeña. No, sí, quedamos de acuerdo que... Teaspoon. Sí, teaspoon. 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 Olive. Olive. Aceite. Olive. Ajá, good, very good. Sí. Yes. 
Yeah, finish. <laughs> you finish. Yay! Hey, they was the one in charge of sharing the recipe. Very good, right? So for a good salad, you need lettuce. You need cucumber. You need what else? ¿Qué más dijeron? Grupo número dos. El grupo uno no dice nada. Ajá, tomato. Um, carrot. Carrot, lemon. What else? Two lemon. Two lemon pepper and cucumber and mayonnaise. And now for the second recipe of the night, our group number two is going to teach us how to make pupusas. Go ahead. What ingredients do you need to make pupusas? American friends, copy the recipe. Ajá, compañeros. El grupo, me sentí como en las presentaciones. Y ahora mi compañero va a presentar. Y ninguno presenta. Go ahead. Es que nos quedamos con las ganas de hacer las pupusas. Queríamos hacer ya. Las... Yeah, I, I can see. Uh -huh. Pupusas. Go ahead. Ingredients. Individual I mean, or... I, I don't know. One person from the group. Or you can say one, one, one and one. Okay. Mm, so, to prepare uh, pupusas, you need... I forgot how to say masa. <laughs> dough. 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 Corn. You dough. need dough. Uh, the problem was that I, I did the crazy pupusa. Ah, and okay. My, and my uh, classmates did pupusa revuelta. Mixed pupusas. <laughs> no, it's okay. Exactly. Don't worry. Give us okay. the ingredients. Uh, to prepare the crazy pupusa, you need dog, pork, greens, cheese, loroco, beans, jalapeño. And for the sauce, you need tomatoes. And for the curtido, you need cabbage, um, vin vinegar. Vinegar? Vinegar? And oregano. And oregano. Yeah, you see? Listo, <laughs> right? And we got the pupusas. Very good job, Cynthia, saving the group. That was very good, very good. Any other ingredient, group number two? ¿Qué otro ingrediente se nos, se nos quedó para las pupusas? Cynthia nos mencionó pork. bastantes. Pork. Pork, right? Pork is chicharrón, right? Pork. Cheese. Cheese, right? Pork, cheese. Oco. Loroco, right? Loroco. And I was chicken. a chicken. Yeah, you can make pupusas. Chicken pupusas. That's good. Well, you can make pupusas of everything. Here in El Salvador, you find pupusas of everything. Papelillo, mora, loroco, ayote. You find any type of pupusa that you want, you find it. Right? Fish pupusas in El Mahawal. Right? They are very famous. Fish pupusas. Excellent Sería job. Bonita, que no me gustan. <laughs> I said the same. Yo dije lo mismo. And they were very good. They were very good. And later I said, well, uh, it was my bad because the pupusas were very good. So thank you very much, my dear students, for the recipe. Now, here we have a little conversation that it's also about a recipe. But in this case, we are going to make some sandwiches. And we are going to use the structure that you were mentioning when we talk about the countables and uncountables. What we say, we are going to prepare some sandwiches, right? That we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. What is the difference between some and any? ¿Qué diferencia tenemos entre some y any? La cantidad. Yes, the quantity. Some, it means that we have in the, in the refrigerator. Que si abrimos la refri, ahí hay, right? We have some. But if you say like, there aren't any. There aren't any, right? No hay ninguna. Yeah, like if you want a soda right now and you open my refrigerator, there isn't any, right? So, and some, it's like, yeah. 
there are like a couple, right? There are a couple of them. So listen to the conversation. I don't know if you know all the vocabulary presented. Or if not, tell me, teacher, what is the meaning of and you find something new? If you find something new there, let me know. No? Do you know the vocabulary? The está claro el vocabulary que tenemos? Oh, teacher. Eh... En la última, después de sure. Eh, everyone, eh, everyone, a todo mundo, a todos, right? Everyone likes eh, potato salad. It's like a todos, a todos nos gusta, right? Everyone likes potato salad. So it says, what do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad, right? What do you want for the picnic? Practice the question with me. What do you want for the picnic? What do you want, what do you want, for, you want the for the picnic? What do you want for the picnic? What do you want for the picnic? For the picnic. Okay, imagínense que me están preguntando a mí, que ya vamos a ir a cocinar. Y me dice, what do you want for the picnic? <laughs> what do you want for the picnic? Ah, for it's the, different, right? What do you want for the picnic? Si solo, lo leemos, picnic? si solo lo leemos y decimos, what do you want for the picnic? Ajá, pero imagínense que se lo está preguntando a alguien. What do you want for the picnic? What do you want for the picnic? Y el otro le contesta, mm, how about some sandwiches? Mm, how about some sandwiches? How, how, about, how, about, how about how about how about how about how about how about some sandwiches? How about how about, how about, how about some sandwiches? It's like if I say, ¿qué quieres para la cena? Unos panes, ¿te parece? Yeah. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? <laughs> okay, you say, okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. Refrigerator. That's a difficult word. That's a very difficult word. Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. We don't have any bread. But we don't have any bread. We don't have any bread. We don't have any bread. Bread. Bread, 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 bread. And we don't have any cheese. Uh -huh. And we, we don't have any cheese. We don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? Do we Do have, we any, have drinks? any drinks? Drink? No, we need some. No, no we need some. We need some. some. All right. All right. All right. Let's get some lemonade. Let's get, get some lemonade. Some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. And let's and buy let's some buy potato, potato salad. salad. Sure. 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 Everyone likes potato salad. Everyone, Everyone likes, likes potato, potato salad. salad. Okay, now we're going to practice, okay? And nadie se va quedando. What do you want for the picnic? What, what do you want, do you want, want for the picnic? picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. <laughs> okay, okay. We, don't we don't have any bread. We don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. We don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? Do you have any drinks? Do you have any drinks? Do you have any drinks? Do we have any drinks? Do we have any drinks? 
No, we need some. No, no we, we need some. some. We need some. Okay. Let's get some lemonade. Ah, all right. Sorry. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Let's get some lemonade. Lemonade. Let's get some lemonade. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Everyone likes potato salad. Okay, now I am I am Adam and you are Amanda. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? How about some sandwiches? Plural. Okay. <clears throat> Aquí no pasó nada. Volvamos a empezar. What do you want for the picnic? Mm. Mm. How about, How about sandwiches? sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Do we have any drinks? We have no. any drinks? No. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some salad. Potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, now. Pero le salió el tiro por la culata. Okay, now you are going to start, right? You are going to start. <laughs> well, let's let's see. One, two, three. Start, please. What do you want, do you want for the picnic? picnic? Mm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. Any bread? Bread. 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 And we don't Bread. have any cheese. Do you have, have any cheese? We have any drinks? No, we need some. All, All right. right. All right. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. sure. Everyone sure. likes potato salad. Potato salad. Potato salad. Refrigerator. We have some chicken in the refrigerator. We have some chicken in the refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. Okay. Give me, give me one second. Okay, give me one second. I am going to to, to send it to you. Uh, okay, here I go. The pronunciation of refrigerator. I am going to send it to you. Refrigerator. It is something funny. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Okay, the pronunciation is this one. I am going to send it in the chat. <laughs> You're going to say what? Refrigerator. Refrigerator. There you have it have you on the chat. Refrigerator. 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 Yes, you got it. Refrigerator. 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 It's, kind of, it's kind of complicated, but not impossible. No. Refrigerator. Re. Refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, you with a little bit of practice, you are going to have it. Refrigerator. 
Listen. Refrigerator. 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 Ahí tienen para que pasemos practicándola toda la noche. Refrigerator. Cuando estén dormidos se van a acordar de mí. Refrigerator. Here, here I have a little exercise. With this exercise, what we are going to do is to practice what we were just studying, right? The different sentences, the different types of vocabulary. And I have here, I like apples and mangoes. I don't like bananas. In the case of vegetables, what type of vegetables you can say that you like and one that you don't like? For example, mm. here in the fruits, it says, I like apples and mangoes, but I don't like bananas. It's an example, right? Or you can say, I like uh, watermelon and melon, but I don't like uh, lemon, for example, okay? In the case of the vegetables, what are the vegetables that you like? What are the vegetables that you don't like? About the meat, I like fish and chicken, but I don't like pork, for example. About the dairy products, los productos derivados de la leche. What are the things that you like and one that you don't like? About the grains, I like rice, but I don't like pasta. It can be. About the drinks, I like water, but I don't like soda. It can be. And about the desserts, desserts, it's important, it's a new word. Creo que esa es una palabra nueva para hoy. Desserts is postres. Dessert. And be careful because desert es desierto, okay? Desert es desierto. Dessert is postre, okay? So, I need you to create one sentence. Choose one category and write one sentence. Later, you can complete the rest, okay? Escojan una categoría y hagan un ejemplo para compartirlo ahorita con la clase about fruits, about vegetables, about grains, about drinks, desserts. Mm. You can choose one. Choose one and write the sentence. Escribanla en su cuaderno, please. I need you to write the sentence in your notebook. I like. I am going to write one example. It is. Read your example. And dream. Okay. I like. I I like what water. 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 Milk tea. Uh huh. Milk tea. I don't like soda. And you don't like soda. Okay. You say water. I like water. I like water and milkshake. I don't like soda. Very good. Any other one? I like water and milkshake. Arvin, Arvin, go ahead. Uh, the five, I like beans, soap. Uh-huh. And I don't like I don't. Okay, you like beans soup, but you don't like I don't like no, no, I think I think I think about the grains, you can say, uh, for example, rice. Uh, what, what other grains do we have? 
my goodness. Well, you can use the rice. I don't like the the black rice. Ah, black rice. Good. You like the black rice. Yes, I heard a teacher there. Can me llamo? Yo. Okay. Este, ¿Cómo se dice carne de cerdo? Pork. 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 Y, y la carne de res normal sería solo meat. Beef. ¿Cómo? Beef. Es que no se me puede descargar el... el, el ah, el ok. It's... Dice que mi teléfono no es compatible y como no lo descargué en la computadora, sino que en mi teléfono. Ok, <risa> so I, I am going to, to open it here. Si de repente tienen problemas de no, que no lo pueden descargar en WhatsApp y lo quieren descargar en la computadora, usen WhatsApp web. Y ahí lo pueden, sí. y ahí lo pueden abrir. Sí. Eso, okay. pero el archivo que nos envió anteriormente donde estaban los nombres de las cosas... Sí, me lo descargó el teléfono. Ah, oh. uh, ok. <laughs> so, uh, this one, you say beef. B-E-E-F. Beef. beef is carne de res. Ya estoy lista. Ok, good. Go ahead. I like the beef and fish. I don't like, I don't like pork. Ok, very good. I like beef and fish, but I don't like pork. Excellent. Another example. Another example. Gabriela, do you have your sentence? Yes. My example is vegetable. Um, I like carrot and eggplant. I don't like broccoli. Very good job. Very good. Very good sentence. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Um, I am going to go with Esmeralda, do you have your sentences? Yes. Go ahead. It's a vegetable. Okay. I like tomatoes and carrots. I don't like onion. Onion, very good. Maritza, do you have your sentence? Ah, Maritza, it's, it's still walking towards her house. Maximo. Number one. Go ahead. I like bananas, mm -hmm. but I don't like papaya. <laughs> okay, you don't like papaya. That's good. Let me see. Heidi. And I like carrot and onion. I don't like onions. Rosario, go ahead. Like... I don't like onions, you say. Rosario, go ahead. Uh, two. Uh, I like radish and cucumber, and uh, I don't like beet. Creo que se dice remolacha. Beet, uh, beet, beet. Only that. Beet. beet. Very good job. And let me see who am I missing. Marvin. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Marvin. Soy Patricia. <laughs> yeah, es el me conecté a la cuenta de mi hijo, no me fijé como tengo ambas cuentas en el correo. Ok, pero no, Patricia. No, ya Patricia, es like Marvin, I say, come on. Patricia, sí, se me hizo raro. Sí. Ah, o sea, Patricia, sí, y ahorita que estaba observando, me, me conecté a la cuenta de mi hijo, pero es que en el grupo no me tomaron a cuenta, me decían Marvin, me decían Marvin, y yo, a ver, yo no veo ningún Marvin, dije, pero igual. <risa> no, I, I have it. Ok, Patricia, I, I changed your name. Uh, I like lemonade and water. Okay, I like lemonade like, and water. I don't like soda. You don't like soda. That's very good. Very good job. Am I missing someone? Se me queda alguien? I think I asked everybody. Teacher, yes. yes. In my ah, okay. Go ahead. Go, Maritza. I like um, pear. Pear, uh huh. Uh, I don't, I don't, I do not like orange. You don't like orange, right? I like pear, but I don't like orange. Very good job. You can create the other examples for you to practice the vocabulary with the rest of the sentence. Okay, ahí pueden hacer las las otras oraciones para que sigamos practicando el vocabulario. 
So in this one, we have here, good, bad, excellent, or perfect. So I have one example. Strawberries are good for you. Strawberries are bad for you. Strawberries good. are excellent for you. Or uh, strawberries are perfect for you. What do you think about cake? ¿Qué tan beneficioso es el pastel para todos nosotros? Good, bad, excellent, perfect. What is your opinion good about teacher. cake? <laughs> good, 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 you good, say. Good and bad. Good and bad, right? It's the good, good. and the evil. The lettuce. It's just lechuga, lechuga. Yes. Good. It's good for you. The lettuce is good for you. Que tan beneficioso. It's excellent for you, you say. What about fish? Excellent. 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 Potato excellent. chips. Las papitas. Good. Las papitas fritas. Bad. Bad. bad for me. They are bad, but they are excellent. You say. <laughs> what about excellent. the yeah. bad for me is bad. About the eggs. Eggs good. Eggs are good, good for you. Good for me. It's good. Potatoes. It is good. good for me. Good. Depending, right? Depending. Pizza. Oh, it's it's excellent. excellent. It's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> it's supreme. It's perfect. You say very good. What about the beans? Okay. Hey, 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 they are good. They are perfect, excellent. right? Cool. What about the yogurt? Bad, bad, <laughs> bad, 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 bad. I really bad. like yogurt. <laughs> what about cookies? Excellent. Excellent for me. Excellent. And the broccoli? So the chocolate. Yeah. It's bad for me. Good. Poor broccoli. Poor broccoli. Bad. 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 Good. 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 Oh, good. It's good, good, good and bad, right? A little bit of everything. <laughs> that was excellent. So today we were working on this one, okay? Hoy nos fuimos al revés. Hicimos toda la práctica y al final les presento la grammar. ¿Por qué? Porque eh, así ustedes van desarrollando también su vocabulario, sus habilidades de crear, eh, de crear oraciones, de crear ya su pensamiento en inglés, más allá de que lo vamos a clasificar en categorías específicas, like I like apple, I don't like banana, but it's good that you produce. So today in the class, we were developing some and any, right? The countable and uncountable nouns. This is what we were working on the class today. And in the conversation, we practice the question, do we need, right? This is the questions that we practice in the conversation the countable and uncountable nouns that we practice as well at the beginning of the class. And when we were talking, right, I am eating an egg. Let's get some bread when we practice some and any. And right now that we were talking in general, eggs are good for you, bread is good for you, beans are excellent for you. This is the part that we practice today. So let's read the conversations, the little questions that we have here. Can you help me to read the question? Me ayudan a leer la pregunta. Do you eat, need any eggs? Do we need any eggs? Do we need any eggs? And the Do answer. We... Yes. yes, let's get yes. some, some yeah. eggs or the other answer that it's the negative one and say no we don't we don't need, need any, any eggs yes. the next question can you help me to read the next question do we need any bread do we need any bread yes yes let's get some, let's get some bread or 
No, no we don't need any bread. We don't need any bread. Okay, let's see. Eh, Elizabeth, for the fresh salad, para la ensalada fresca, do we need any eggs? Do we no. need, uh -huh. no, I I don't need any eggs. Very good. For the pupusas, for the pupusas, it is. Do we need any bread? No. I don't know. I don't need. I don't need any bread. Very good job. Mr. Maximo, to prepare a sandwich, do we need any eggs? Yes. Yes, right, because it's a breakfast I need, sandwich. I need any any eggs. Okay, if it is a yes. I need some. I need some. Me gusta cuando mis estudiantes se corrigen ellos mismos. You say, yes, we need some. Okay, so that was the use that we did in class today. Esto fue todo lo que estuvimos desarrollando en clases. Se fijan que lo estuvimos desarrollando con las conversaciones, con las oraciones, con las recetas y todo. Y ahora que revisamos la grammar, lo logramos. Okay, my dear students, that's all for today. I am going to see you tomorrow for our next class of the week. Have a beautiful night, and I'm going to see you in the next class. Bye. 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 Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Have a beautiful night. Bye bye.